Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be kind of a mix. It's my foundation routine and a get ready with me. Um, so it's nothing big of a look. It's just something that I wear. The days that I wear makeup, I like to wear this look. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you want to see how I came up with this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So this is basically a foundation routine video, but I'm going to throw in my makeup look as well. So. Anyway, um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to be applying is the L'Oreal Revital Lift Miracle Blur. And this is an instant skin smoother. It reminds me a lot of the Smashbox photo finish. Like it has the same consistency and all that. It's kind of like a, um, a silicone-y base type of product. So I'm going to be applying this so that my makeup lasts all day. I'm not even too sure what makeup look I am even going for today. We will just see what happens. And I like to put this on the areas that I have bigger pores. This stuff smells. It stinks. I don't know. I can't describe. So basically on my cheek, cheeks and on my nose area and in my T-zone. It really, really mattifies the skin. And I'm sorry I have the fan going and I have the window open because it's so hot in here. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. Okay, so for foundation, I'm not going to be using my favorite. I really wanted to. But I picked up this. I've never tried it before. It's the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Makeup. I know that I've heard many, many things about this. Um, I don't even know if this is my shade. It looks a little too light. I'm not sure. It's sand beige, but if it's too light, that's okay. I can still work with it. I can, I'm going to be bronzing up my face and all that, so it's okay. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And today's sponge, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Miracle something. I forgot what it's called. Okay, so I guess since it's a foundation routine, I almost totally forgot to even say anything about this. Um, what I like to do is dab my foundation on my skin. And I mean, I know that a lot of people like to go in with light layers, but if you're going to be wearing makeup, then I just say, you know, what's the point? If you're going to just be, I don't know. To me, I just like to put a full coverage face is what I'm trying to say, I guess. And so... I don't like to move my makeup around. I like to just set it where I want it and then I will be patting it in with a sponge. There, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in and see how, um, see how it works. It's also a first impression, so this video has a lot of things going on in it. So the color's not too bad. A little light, but nothing too bad. I've heard many good things about this, so... There's a, a cheap foundation that um, I probably will be uploading that video. If you're watching this, then I'm pretty sure you've already seen that video. It's a Rimmel foundation. Oh my god. I'm in love with that foundation. I was supposed to do a first impressions on it, and I didn't get around to doing it. Um, yeah, I just didn't get around to doing it. I had some more important things. It came up so I kind of left that to the side but it's amazing it's an amazing foundation it sure it for sure will be in my favorite so I got the one that said normal to dry skin because I do um, suffer from dry skin okay so it has pretty good coverage I mean it's like a medium I wouldn't say full coverage foundation I don't know what I feel about it yet. It looks really good. I like the finish of it. Okay, so next I'm gonna be concealing and highlighting. And for concealing, I'm gonna be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20, and then I have the Classic Ivory um, Pro Conceal, LA Girl Pro Conceal. And this stuff works really, really good. So I'm gonna be applying this under my eyes and then this to highlight. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my Pro Conceal and just putting everywhere I want highlighted. Okay. 
Okay, then to blend that in, I'm just going to go in with the same smudge that I put my foundation on with. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to be setting my concealer. I've been using this. It's the NYC Smooth Skin um, Parfait Press Powder. Um, it's translucent, and I go in with this... Um, beauty blender that's dry and I just take some because it's a really good powder like look how pigmented it is um, it's a really good powder to set your concealer and I'm gonna go heavy because um, this is also gonna help with any fallout that I have so I'm just gonna pack this on this eye gets red all my life like I think it's because I have the fan on Um, I like that whole baking or cooking, what is it called? I probably sound stupid. Um, where they clean up the contour. I'll show you, I've been doing that for the last couple of days. And it really, really makes your contour look very um, sharp. It looks cool. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my foundation using the Maybelline Fit Me um, Translucent Powder. And this stuff works really, really good. So to contour, I'm going to be using powder. I'm not going to do any cream, which I probably should. Okay, now moving on to bronzing the face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Sun Glow Light. This is a really, really good bronzer that came out, I want to say last summer. It's just a really pretty, pretty glowy bronze. It's pretty. Bronze. For a deeper contour, I'm going to be going into Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, and this one here is in the shade Medium Deep. I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. angled brush, um, and I love this brush to contour with. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I've been, what I talked about at the beginning about baking or cooking. I'm not too sure, but I'm probably not doing it right because um, I just started. But I'm taking that translucent powder onto the sponge, and then I kind of just make my contour line sharp. And then I usually just wait to the end of my makeup and I blend it all in together. Okay, so for blush today, I'm going to be going in with Milani Coral Cove. This is such a beautiful color. I picked it up a couple of summers ago, maybe a summer or two. But look at that. It's just so gorgeous. It's like a pinky but corally peachy shade. And I'm going to take some onto the Sonia Kashuk brush and I just like touch it once because the stuff is like hella pigmented. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to highlight with two different highlighters. And I'm going to be using Mary Lou Luminizer, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows. It's just ugh, gorgeous. And then I'm going to be using the All Over Glow from Ruby Kisses. 
look at oh it is so beautiful it's very bronzy very summer light so I figured I would use it in this video first I'm taking Mary Lou luminizer and I'm just gonna hit the high points of my base and I love this one people say that it's just basically the same thing as this let me know if you think it's still worth getting I love a lot of highlight a lot okay so I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything in and then I will apply the bronzy glow stuff this trick has been helping me so much like oh my god guys it just blends the highlighter the blush the contour powder everything together like so seamlessly it just the technique has been working for me really good okay so now I'm gonna go in with this stuff I'm gonna go very light-handedly so I'm gonna use the little stippling brush from L it's very pigmented super pigmented so I'm just gonna hit like the high points of my face as well kinda just to give a little extra glow so there you go. I love the way that this looks. It just looks very summery, very glowy and all that. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with the rest of my base. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have my brows done. I... yeah. So really quickly to save some time, I got off camera and I did one eye. Um, I'm going to be doing a very neutral look and to do so I'm going to be using my Too Faced chocolate palette and I'm going to be using some shadows from the Smack palette. <clears throat> so I'm going to be taking some shadows from each of these and creating a look for you. Very simple, nothing, nothing new. Begin by applying my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Just a really nice yellow toned base. Okay, so in the crease I'm going to be going in with Salted Caramel. I believe that's what it's called. Just taking it onto this fluffy brush from eBay number 224 and just applying to the crease. Okay, now that we have that in there, I want to add a second crease color. It is this one and I believe it is called Milk Chocolate. I'm not too sure. I may have that completely wrong. Then I'm just going to throw that into the crease as well. And this is going to help deepen the eye a little more. Okay, next for the lid, I'm going to be taking this pretty color here, which I forgot what it is called. I have no idea. It's like a sparkly purpley pink. And I'm just going to be applying this to the first um, inner part of the eye. Just like that, and I'm just going to be buffing away any harsh lines. And then in the middle of the lid, and the rest of the lid, I'm going to be taking this really pretty purple shade. Again, onto my finger, and just applying on the outer half of the eye. And just kind of blending it in with that pink. Okay, in the crease, I'm going to take one more shade. I'm going to be taking this one here. I don't know what any of the names are called and I'm just going to put that into the crease. It's going to be a pretty shimmery look. Usually I do not go with this shimmery. And then I'm just going to buff away all this. Um, to deepen it up I'm just going to go back into the milk chocolate and just kind of put that into the crease as well some more. So for a highlight I'm going to be taking Naked Lunch from MAC. Just a really pretty shimmery yellow toned so now I'm going to be taking nylon from MAC it's just a really pretty sparkly sparkly beautiful shade I love this and I always put this in to the inner corner of the eye okay in the bottom of the lower lash line I'm going to go in with softy brown from MAC take that in there so to give the eyes a little bit more something on the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking Coppering by MAC and placing it right here. Mm -hmm. 
And now for eyeliner, I'm going to be taking Baby Blue from Rimmel. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to be taking ELF's um, Midnight Blue. It's a really pretty navy blue. And I'm just going to be creating a wing. Okay to deepen Okay to deepen the outer corner of the eye. To deepen the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to be taking this one here and I believe it's called fudge fudge topping, I believe, maybe. Brush and then just kind of deepen out here. So do you guys like the lighting? I'm using my new ring light. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Please let me know. Any constructive, constructive criticism is welcome down below. I would really, really like your opinion. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes. Apply a little mascara and prep them for some falsies. I'm just going to be taking my, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. So the lashes I'm using are a pair of the Double Up from Ar Ardell, I can't talk, and then the Duo Clear Blue that I love. And if you want to know how I put on falsies, um, I will link that video down below. I just uploaded it a couple days ago. So moving on to the last part of it, the lips. So to start off, I'm going to be using MAC Lip Liner in the shade Spice. And this is a really, really pretty lip liner that goes with many different lip colors. I like this one. This one is from Rimmel number 103. I think I'm going to use this one, this color. Yes, that is the perfect color. So, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.